Hello all. Welcome to part two of XML tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about XML namespaces. So let's get started. In the previous session, I have explained all the basics of XML in a detailed manner. Now let me take you through the advanced concepts of XML and one of the advanced concepts is namespaces. Let me explain this namespaces for you in a detailed from scratch and easy manner in this session. To get started, we have to know what are prefixes. Okay, what are prefixes and how to use the prefixes in XML and what is the purpose of using the prefixes in XML we have to understand first before moving to the namespaces. Okay, so let me explain. So let me explain this prefix in a practical manner. For that, I'll open this Eclipse ID and here already a Java project got created on the right on the src folder i'll right click and select new and select other guys and here i'll type for something known as xml so i'll get this xml file select this under the xml folder click on next here give some name for this xml file say demo click on finish an xml file will be created like this here in this xml file let's create some sample xml content let's say uh, name list okay name list starting name list ending name list and in between the name list i'll say names a set of names i want to give guys okay so here i'll give first name as ankit i'll give some random names guys okay ankit pravin name kishore okay kishore like this three names i gave similarly i have other set of names also okay one set of names is fine guys but in the same xml i have other set of names like this name okay uh, dinesh name santosh and other name prakash like this some other names are there now guys here we have two sets of name this is a problem guys okay if you have uh, names only inside this name tags that will be enough right again another set of names are there this will result in a conflict guys. okay which names list have to follow this names list in the xml file or this names list there is a conflict here guys okay there's a conflict how to resolve the conflict we have to make this names unique guys okay this should be different from this one but here this looks like a duplicate of this one here is a name conflict how to overcome the name conflict let's assume that these names are employee names and these names are student names who are studying in some college these are employee names who are uh, working at some company okay like that so we have to make this names categories unique how to make that using prefix okay using prefix we have to do that for example since this particular names belong to the employees who are working in a company i'll give a short form prefix like e colon okay e colon i'll give since i have given the e colon here copy paste for all the child tags okay copy paste for all the child tags and including the closing tag so like this you have to copy paste guys okay like this okay now now you see these are unique okay these names are different these names are different because this belong to employee names what about these names these are student names i'll give another prefix like s colon okay copy this in the closing tag and in all the child tags like this now there is no conflict guys okay now there is no conflict guys but there is a problem the problem is it looks like these are unique right this employee names are unique and this student names are unique okay these are student names these are employee names they are now properly categorized and made unique okay even though the names names is common but here employee names here student names both are different fine good now save this xml file right click here select properties and go to the location where this is the location in my computer where this demo.xml file is available. Just go to the location where that XML file is available. Right click on the XML file and select open with any browser, say Google Chrome browser. Okay. 
you see immediately got an error guys the page this particular page contains the following error okay error on line 5 at column 10 namespace prefix e on names list is not defined that means to resolve the conflicts to resolve the uh, name conflicts okay initially there was no prefix mentioned right because of that there was a name conflict in the xml file because same category of names set was there okay duplicate set of names were there right that was a name conflict to resolve that we have added the prefix but the problem here is when you add the prefix okay when you add the prefix it's mandatory to provide namespace okay when you in xml if you add some prefix guys then you have to associate that particular prefix with some namespace namespaces are mandatory guys only prefix will not work out in xml along with prefix we have to add namespaces now let's get get to this namespaces okay so what exactly are these namespaces okay when you add new prefixes you have to add the namespaces how to add the namespaces the syntax for the namespaces will be like this you'll have this x m l n s attribute colon and the name of the prefix okay is equal to some uri i'll explain all these things guys okay let me first show you practically how to add this attribute to resolve this problem to resolve this particular error how to solve this problem open the eclipse id where the xml original file is there here guys here the place where you started providing this prefix you will add an attribute known as x l m n s okay say colon what is the prefix name e right e is equal to here you have to provide the url where the information about this ankit pravin kishore employees is available let's say this ankit pravin kishore work in a company say qa tech company okay i'll give the website of the company where this three employees work www.qatech.com slash employees let's say there is a page on this website assuming that there is a page employees web page on qatech.com where the information about ankit pravin kishore is available such kind of url we have to provide here to this as a attribute value to this attribute name that is xm ns along with the prefix so this is fine there is one more prefix here for this prefix also we have to provide the attribute guys xl m n s colon the prefix is equal to s is equal to in double quotes you have to say you have to give the web page url where the information about this dinesh santosh prakash is available let's say these three students are working in a college like trc college okay they have a website www trc college okay trc college dot com slash students page okay at this page this information is available let's assume okay that url you have to provide here guys okay now now let's save this guys earlier without adding this namespaces this is nothing but a namespace guys okay you have to specify the namespace to be uh, for the for supporting the prefixes here okay for supporting the prefixes we have to add the namespaces like this now if you save this and right click properties go to the place where this xml file is created right click on the xml file open with any browser say google chrome browser you see this time you are getting some error x okay there is a problem guys i just made a mistake there is a x uh, m lns okay it's not xl it's xm lns i guess let's save this uh, and uh, let's open it again guys let's close this and uh, open this file again xm lns okay properties go to the location attribute name need to be properly given guys otherwise you'll get the errors google chrome you see this time the error is gone earlier we got this error guys now the error is not coming because we have provided the namespace okay associated with this particular prefix we have to provide the namespace proper namespace so guys coming back is there any problem if i provide some wrong url here if i provide this some xyz url will it work it will still work guys okay the purpose of this uri is to make this particular namespace or prefix to become unique guys okay the uri purpose is to make the things unique that's the only reason we are providing the uri guys okay so the purpose of giving the uri is to make the namespace look unique that's the only reason we are giving the uri uh, whatever the url you are giving it doesn't matter guys okay it's just for the information sake it will make the namespace look unique this this namespace has a different uri 
this names have namespace has a different URI. So it will make the namespace unique. That's the only purpose. Nothing much. Okay, nothing much. It will not uh, import any settings from that URL and that is not there. Okay, that's not something something that uh, will happen. Okay, when you provide the URI, it, it will not retrieve any information for that. Just it will make the things unique, guys. Okay, if you provide a different URL here, the namespace will become unique. That's the only reason we have to provide the namespace here. And in real time, how do we provide this kind of URLs? For example, on this application, guys, there is a table here. On this application URL, somewhere here there is a table. If I have to represent or create an XML file and represent all this data in the XML file, how to do that? So I'll say right click, new, other, I'll search for XML and select the XML file and select next and I'll give some name. Let's say the website name is Omaya, right? I'll give omaya.xml, click on finish. XML file will be created here. I will say here there are a lot of records here, guys. So I'll say records here, records, okay, some records. And under that first record, first record. So we have first record has uh, the name as, what is the name? Ishore is the name. Then two, three records are there, okay? In, ev in every record, uh, three details are there, name, age and place, okay? The second one is age, guys. And third one is place. Okay, here Kishore age is 22 and uh, he's from Delhi. Okay, let's say. So this is place, guys. Okay, just give the same closing tag. Now this is fine. Now copy paste this, guys. Copy paste this. And uh, another record. Second record has Manish 25 Pune. Manish 25 Pune. And the third record is Praveen 29 Bangalore. Praveen 29 Bangalore. Okay. Next one. Deepthi 31 Mumbai. Okay. Deepthi 31 Mumbai. Now, if I have to provide some prefix or some details about this uh, records, okay, here, somewhere here I'll specify, somewhere here I'll specify, uh, let's say some prefix I'll provide, guys. Let's say these are like uh, R colon, okay, records, R for records, let's say. I'll say X, M, X, M, L, N, S colon, R is equal to, what is the URI we have to provide here? Where these details are available? Kishore 22 Delhi, Manish 25 Pune, Pravin 29 Bangalore, they are available on this web page. So give this URI. Okay, give this URI here, guys. Okay, XM LNS colon R is equal to URI you have to give. And now this R prefix have to be copied everywhere, guys. Okay, just copy everywhere. All the child tags should have this R prefix. Okay, so what else here? When you provide all the prefixes, the errors will go away, guys. Okay. Just keep on providing the prefix. This is a practical way of working with the prefixes and namespaces in XML. Okay, even though it takes time, I'm showing you because you have to understand what is the real requirement where we have to use prefixes. And when you provide the prefixes, you have to Support that with a namespace, which namespace is a something that will make the things unique, guys. Okay. Without namespace, it's still not unique. And when you open the XML file in the browser, you will get errors. Okay. And here records also are okay. Done, guys. We are done. Now save this. Right click on this XML file properties. Go to this location where the XML file is saved. Right click on this and say open with Google Chrome. You'll get all the details. You see. Now it's properly displayed. This is the proper way of displaying the XML in the browser, guys. Okay. If not, you will get an error here. Okay. If it's not proper, you'll get an error. If it's not properly formatted or something, right? You'll get an error here. Okay. Fine. So the next one. The next thing is now we understood what exactly are the namespaces and uh, when you have when you create prefixes in XML to uh, solve the name conflicts, then to support the prefixes, we have to add the namespaces, which are mandatory. Okay, if you have prefixes, we should have namespaces also. And in namespaces, we have to provide URI 
for this XM LNS attribute so that this URI is the something that will make the namespace look unique. Okay, it will not derive any settings from the URI, but the, because of you providing this URI, okay, because of you providing this URI, this namespace becomes unique. In this case, guys, in this real time example, whatever I have taken just now for this omaya.blogspot.com, all these details were there on this web page. Okay, in real time, the same thing will happen, guys. Okay, we generally don't provide some ABCD or XYZ.com URLs there. Okay, instead, we provide real URLs which have the real information about the data that you are representing in the XML file. Okay, so this URI should contain some information, guys. In real time, this is what happens when people create XML files. They will give, give the URI as some kind of web page URL which has the information about the data that you are representing in the XML file. Okay, so that is being followed in the real time. And uh, for namespaces, we have to use XM LNS attribute, guys. Okay, the way I showed you just now. And guys, here if you if you clearly see uh, the previous example that is demo.xml file, uh, here two uh, two uh, two names categories were there, right? Name tags, names tags, two sets are there. Okay, so we provided the prefix and uh, we added the namespace to make this particular prefix look unique. Also, this. Uh, this unique URI, URI, which will make this namespace look unique. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. But here, guys, the namespaces were provided at the prefix level. Okay, prefix level we provided the namespace. Instead of that, you can provide the prefixes at the root level. What is the root tag? Name list is the root tag. Okay, instead of providing at the prefix tag level, you can provide the namespace namespaces also at the root level. Okay, if you don't want the namespaces to be displayed. Uh, in the okay kind of xml content you can just provide them in the beginning itself in the root tag this is also fine okay this if you if i save this and uh, right click go to properties go to the place where the xml file is there if i still open this in the browser you will not get any error okay still it will work as you see this is still working either you can provide in the tag level where the prefixes were mentioned or you can provide them in the root tag of the xml okay both will be working fine both will be working fine Next thing is the last topic for today regarding the namespaces. Okay, the last topic here is regarding the default namespace. Okay, the last topic is regarding the default namespace. What does it mean? Here, guys, in default namespace, you don't even have to provide the prefix. Okay, here, don't provide the prefix, guys. Remove the prefixes. Okay, from everywhere, remove the prefix. But default namespace, you don't have to provide any prefix. Remove all the prefixes from everywhere including this attribute also remove this and provide this namespace at the tag level like this okay that's it so this is a parent tag of all this name tags right so starting from here to here the namespaces are properly okay applied and all these names are unique now okay this name set is already unique guys you don't have to provide for default namespaces if you provide default namespace like this all the tag and child tags are covered by this uniqueness of the namespace. You don't have to specially mention any prefix here. Similarly, this one also, guys, remove all the prefixes here. You don't need any prefix. Simply remove the prefixes here from here. And in the names, provide this. Here also, remove the prefix, guys. Prefix is no more required, but you have to provide this namespace at the tag level okay for this tag and child tags this namespace will be applied and it will make this particular category unique this is made unique by this uh, namespace this section is made a different section or made unique by this particular namespace you know you don't need any prefix anymore okay with the default namespaces you don't have to specify any prefix anymore that's all about the default namespace guys despite of uh, removing the prefixes and adding this default namespaces if i save this and again Go to the location where this file is uh, saved and uh, right click on the file xml file and open that in browser still it will work as you see you will not get any error this proves that default namespaces also will work without prefixes okay so this is all about the namespaces guys okay this is all about namespaces that you have to know this much is enough you don't have to dig more than this so that's all for this session guys see you in the next video session with some other advanced topic of xml so thank you, bye.